a very quiet week last week. I mean, three days of trade only. Of course, most uh, turning their attention to the Easter holidays. Uh, tell us about the shift in sentiment going forward. Again, we could see very light volumes. It is also a shorter week. Yes, it is a shorter week. Uh, this, um, it, was, it was only three weeks. It was only three days, sorry. And volumes came off 30% uh, to 6.7 million worth of um, shares changing hands from 9.58 million in the previous week. So um, it is a bit quiet. A lot of the players are away. And this morning was also quite quiet. This week is also a shorter week, and we think it will continue to be relatively quiet. Mm. Well, let's look back. I mean, we had Econet uh, results out as well. Uh, basically in line with the expectations, earning per share of uh, 83 cents. Uh, we also saw quite a nice dividend coming through as well. Uh, tell us about the play with Econet now that investors do have a bit more insight into earnings and uh, potential earnings going forward. Well, Econet hasn't re rated uh, in the last two reporting um, in the, in the last two sets of results that Econet released, the, the share did not re-rate at all, and we believe that um, this time around it will re-rate. The earnings growth is still quite strong. The, the momentum looks like it is sustainable going forward. Um, they've declared a nice, healthy dividend. In addition to that, they've also declared a dividend in specie of where they were getting rid of some of their non-core mm. investments that they acquired during the Zim dollar era. So uh, it's quite an exciting story going forward with um, the expected rollout of value-added services such as Echo Cash and the continued rollout of broadband, we believe that the share is significantly undervalued. And uh, already this morning, it, it's re-rated a little bit. Mm. Well, where do you expect a complete re-rating uh, with the likes of uh, the share price? I mean, you're talking about the company getting rid of its non-core holdings. I mean, you're talking about the likes of Milkless and KFA, uh, KFHL as well. Uh, do you think this is now going to uh, ensure that it does attract more interest from foreigners and locals? We think uh, the, the disposal um, is relatively small in the big scheme of things. Um, I think um, the, the value of these investments is um, to a large extent uh, discounted already in the valuation. But I think it's just a, it's a positive development where um, the company is now moving to get rid of these non-core assets now that the pricing is correct. And um, they, they will continue to focus on their core businesses which, um, in which they're doing very well. Mm. Uh, Rufari, are you putting a buy on the Econet? Yes, we believe fair value for Econet is about uh, $8.80. It's currently trading at $5. Uh, at $5. Um, so, you know, we, 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 we view Econet as a very strong buy. Mm. Let's shift attention now. Uh, the likes of Dairy Board, I mean, we saw the AGM trading updates. We're looking at first quarter turnover up 36%. We also saw volumes increasing uh, quite significantly. So it seems that this company is doing quite well. With regards to its share price, do you think that the positive numbers are being reflected? Um, it, it didn't respond. The, the share price didn't respond to the trading update that was given last week. Um, I think the, uh, in the last year, um, the, dairy, the dairy bought price re-rated significantly, and I think that um, many players in the market probably believe it's fully valued at, at these sort of levels. Yeah. But the trading update indicates that the um, aggressive growth that we saw in the in the prior year, that, that momentum is sustainable and is going to is continuing um, in the 20. 2011, uh, 2012 uh, year, mm. and uh, a 36 percent increase uh, or growth in turnover for the first quarter is, is, is quite significant. So we believe that as this information um, gets out there and digested by market participants, we believe yeah. that um, it will translate to a re-rating in dairy bodies as well. Rufaro, how attractive is this stock? I mean, when we compare it to the likes of Clover here in South Africa, which of course recently re listed on the JSC, of course, that listing came through late last year. Uh, are you seeing a lot of uh, participation when it comes to the stock? Because we know the milk industry is a very cyclical one and of course can be hampered by changes in weather patterns. Well, I think uh, as, as, as far as everybody's concerned, it's a, it's, a, it's a different story really because they're coming from a very low base. A lot of the big foreign players in the, on the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange didn't look at it because uh, the valuation was so low. But I think the investment case was so, has been so compelling. Um, we're starting to see a lot more interest in this particular stock. And we believe that uh, it, it will, it will, um, the, the momentum will continue. Um, as, as far as um, its position compared to regional uh, milk businesses is concerned, it's a completely different ball game for Dairy Board because of where we're coming from uh, in terms of the Zimbabwean market. And I think that um, it will continue to be a bit exceptional um, and not correlate uh, so much with what's happening in the rest of the region.
Mm. Well, Rafari, let's take a step back and look at the overall global economy and what we're seeing happening on a global level. Uh, are you seeing foreigners, a lot of foreigners, coming to the fore and being interested in Zimbabwean assets at this point in time? Or do you think that uh, there's still quite of aversion towards the country? Well, if you look at, if, if you analyze the value traded on a daily basis, um, it's quite clear that uh, it has improved this, uh, in the first quarter, and that that improvement stems from increased interest from foreign participants. So, um, in spite of what has happened in North Africa and other developments that have that may put uh, global investors off emerging markets, we continue to see um, interest in Zimbabwe, in particular in the big blue chips, your Econet, Insco, Delta. Um, and going forward, um, we, 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 we continue to get uh, inquiries and we continue to see um, significant trades by, by foreigners. So by and large, it appears that um, the Zimbabwe market has uh, not been significantly affected by the other developments in the rest of Africa.